Welcome to our journey through the mystical realm of ancient Egyptian mythology, where gods, goddesses and mythical creatures reign supreme. Join us as we delve into the captivating stories and unique characteristics of these enigmatic beings, unraveling the secrets of a civilization that continues to fascinate the world. Stay tuned for a mesmerizing exploration into the heart of Egyptian lore. Ancient Egyptian mythology is one of the most intricate and enduring belief systems in human history, spanning over three millennia. It provided a framework for understanding the universe, explaining the natural phenomena, and guiding religious practices and rituals. The mythology of ancient Egypt was deeply intertwined with every aspect of life, from agriculture and fertility to death and the afterlife. Central to Egyptian mythology was the concept of Ma'at, which represented order, truth, and cosmic balance. The gods and goddesses were responsible for upholding Mahat and ensuring the harmony of the universe. Failure to maintain Mahat could result in chaos and destruction. The ancient Egyptians worshipped a vast array of deities, each associated with specific domains such as the sun, the Nile, fertility and death. These gods and goddesses were often depicted in human or animal form, possessing both human and supernatural characteristics. Mythical creatures also played significant roles in Egyptian mythology, serving as symbols of power, protection, and divine authority. From the majestic Sphinx to the fearsome serpent Apep, these creatures populated the mythological landscape of ancient Egypt, inspiring awe and reverence among the people. Now let us talk about the enigmatic gods and goddesses of ancient Egypt. 1. Ra. Ra was the ancient Egyptian sun god, one of the most important and revered deities in the pantheon. He was often depicted as a falcon-headed man or as a sun disk with falcon wings. Ra was believed to sail across the sky during the day and journey through the underworld at night, defeating the forces of chaos and darkness. He was associated with creation, light, and divine kingship, and was worshipped as the ruler of all gods. 2. Osiris Osiris was the god of the afterlife, death, and resurrection. He was depicted as a mummified pharaoh wearing the Atef crown, holding a crook and flail, symbols of kingship and fertility. Osiris was murdered by his brother Set, who coveted his throne, but was resurrected by his wife Isis, who collected his dismembered body parts and brought him back to life. Osiris became the ruler of the underworld and the judge of the dead, presiding over the weighing of the heart ceremony. 3. Isis Isis was the goddess of magic, motherhood and fertility, as well as the patroness of the throne. She was depicted as a woman wearing a throne-shaped headdress, or as a mother nursing her son, Horus. Isis played a central role in Egyptian mythology as the devoted wife of Osiris and the mother of Horus. She used her magical powers to resurrect Osiris and protect her son from the wrath of Set. Isis was worshipped as the ideal mother and the divine protector of the pharaoh. 4. Horus Horus was the god of kingship, sky and protection, often depicted as a falcon or as a falcon-headed man. He was the son of Osiris and Isis and the avenger of his father's murder by Set. Horus battled Set for control of the throne of Egypt, symbolizing the eternal struggle between order and chaos. He was revered as the divine protector of the pharaoh and the embodiment of royal power and legitimacy. 5. Anubis Anubis was the god of mummification, death and the afterlife, depicted as a jackal or a jackal-headed man. He was responsible for guiding the souls of the deceased through the underworld and overseeing the embalming process. Anubis was also associated with funerary rites and rituals, ensuring that the dead were properly prepared for the journey to the afterlife. He was worshipped as the guardian of graves and the protector of the deceased. 6. Thoth 
Thoth was the god of wisdom, writing, and magic, depicted as a man with the head of an ibis or as a baboon. He was credited with inventing writing and hieroglyphics, as well as the arts of magic and divination. Thoth served as the scribe of the gods and the mediator between the forces of order and chaos. He was worshipped as the patron of scholars, scribes and magicians, revered for his knowledge and intellect. 7. Sekhmet Sekhmet was the goddess of war, destruction and healing, depicted as a lioness or as a lioness-headed woman. She was believed to unleash her wrath upon the enemies of Ra, manifesting as a fierce warrior on the battlefield. However, Sekhmet also had a benevolent aspect as the goddess of medicine and healing, capable of curing diseases and ailments. She was worshipped as both a protective and destructive force, embodying the duality of nature. 8. Bastet Bastet was the goddess of home, fertility and domesticity, depicted as a lioness or as a cat-headed woman. She was revered as a benevolent deity who protected households and ensured the well-being of families. Basti was also associated with music, dance and joy, celebrated in festivals and ceremonies throughout Egypt. She was worshipped as the guardian of women and children, as well as the defender of the home. 9. Amun Amun was the king of the gods and the god of air, fertility and invisibility, depicted as a man wearing a double-plumed crown or as a ram-headed man. He rose to prominence during the New Kingdom, becoming the principal deity of Egypt and the patron of the pharaohs. Amun was believed to create the universe through his breath and to reside within every living being. He was worshipped as the hidden force behind all existence, transcending earthly boundaries and limitations. 10. Nut Nut was the goddess of the sky and heavens, depicted as a woman arching over the earth with her star-covered body. She was the daughter of Shu, the god of air, and Tefnut, the goddess of moisture, and the sister and wife of Geb, the god of the earth. Nut was believed to swallow the sun god Ra every evening and give birth to him every morning, symbolizing the cycle of day and night. She was worshipped as the mother of the gods and the protector of the deceased in the afterlife. This video has two episodes, this is episode one, so subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out the next episode, thank you. Now let us visit the mythical creatures of ancient Egyptian mythology. 1. Sphinx The Sphinx was a mythical creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human or animal, often depicted as a guardian of temples and tombs. The most famous example is the Great Sphinx of Giza, which has the head of a pharaoh, possibly representing the sun god Ra or the pharaoh Khafre. The Sphinx was believed to possess great wisdom and knowledge, challenging travelers with riddles and puzzles. 2. Apep, Apophis Apep was the personification of chaos and destruction, depicted as a giant serpent or dragon that dwelled in the underworld. Every night, Apep would attempt to devour the sun god Ra as he journeyed through the underworld, symbolizing the eternal struggle between order and chaos. Priests and magicians performed rituals and spells to ward off Apep's malevolent influence and protect the sun god. 3. Amit Amit, also known as the Devourer of the Dead, was a fearsome creature with the head of a crocodile the body of a lion and the hindquarters of a hippopotamus. She was believed to inhabit the Hall of Mayat in the underworld, where she awaited the souls of the deceased. Amit would devour the hearts of the unworthy, condemning them to eternal damnation. She served as a deterrent against wrongdoing and a symbol of divine justice. 4. Benu Bird the Bennu bird was a mythical creature associated with the sun, rebirth, and creation, often depicted as a heron or crane-like bird. It was believed to be the soul of the sun, god Ra, symbolizing the eternal cycle of life, death, and renewal. 
The Bennu bird was associated with the city of Heliopolis and the creation myth, where it played a central role in the emergence of the world from the primordial waters. 5. Uraeus The Uraeus was a mythical serpent or cobra, often depicted as a symbol of royalty and divine authority. It adorned the crowns and headdresses of pharaohs, representing their power and protection by the gods. The Uraeus was associated with the goddess Wajet, who was believed to spit fire at the enemies of Ra and the pharaoh. It served as a symbol of vigilance, guardianship, and sovereignty. 6. Bennu The Bennu bird, also known as the phoenix, was a symbol of rebirth, regeneration, and the sun. It was often associated with the god Atum and the city of Heliopolis. The Bennu was believed to periodically engulf itself in flames and be reborn from its own ashes, symbolizing the eternal cycle of life, death, and renewal. It was depicted as a heron or crane-like bird with colorful plumage, often perched on the sacred Benben stone, representing creation and the emergence of the world from the primordial waters. 7. Serpopard The serpopard was a mythical creature that combined the body of a leopard with the long neck and head of a serpent. It symbolized the unity of opposites and the duality of nature, often depicted in Egyptian art as a motif on ceremonial objects and jewelry. The serpopard represented the harmonious balance between the terrestrial and the celestial realms, as well as the interconnectedness of all living beings. Ot, Taweret. Taweret was a protective goddess associated with childbirth, fertility, and maternity, depicted as a combination of a hippopotamus, crocodile, and lioness. She was often portrayed as a fearsome but benevolent deity, wearing a headdress adorned with a solar disk and cow horns. Taweret was believed to ward off evil spirits and malevolent forces, ensuring the safety of mothers and newborns during childbirth. She was worshipped as a guardian of the home and a symbol of maternal care and protection. 9. Ba The Ba was a spiritual entity depicted as a bird with a human head, representing the individual's soul or essence. It was believed to separate from the body after death and embark on a journey through the underworld to be judged by Osiris. The bay was associated with the concept of immortality and the afterlife, symbolizing the eternal nature of the human spirit. It was often depicted hovering above the deceased's mummy and funerary art, awaiting reunion with the body in the afterlife. 11. Kepri Kepri was a god associated with the rising sun, rebirth and transformation, depicted as a scarab beetle or as a man with the head of a scarab. He was believed to roll the sun across the sky each day, symbolizing the eternal cycle of dawn, dusk and renewal. Kepri represented the transformative power of creation and regeneration, as well as the ability to overcome obstacles and challenges. He was worshipped as a symbol of hope and renewal, particularly during times of transition and change. 12. Sobek Sobek was a powerful deity associated with water, fertility, and protection, depicted as a crocodile or a man with the head of a crocodile. He was worshipped as the guardian of the Nile River and its inhabitants, believed to control its floods and ensure its fertility. Sobek was also associated with military prowess and strength, revered as a patron of soldiers and warriors. He was worshipped in various cult centers throughout Egypt, particularly in the Fayum region, where crocodiles were abundant. Set, Seth. Set was a complex deity associated with chaos, deserts, storms, and foreigners depicted as a mysterious creature with the head of an unknown animal, often described as resembling an aardvark, donkey, or mythical composite beast. Set was a powerful and enigmatic figure in Egyptian mythology, representing the forces of chaos and disorder that threatened the cosmic order, Mahat. 
He was often portrayed as a rival to his brother Osiris, whom he murdered out of jealousy and ambition. Set was both feared and revered, sometimes viewed as a malevolent force, and other times as a protector against hostile powers. Bess. Bess was a dwarf deity associated with childbirth, fertility, music, dance, and protection. Depicted as a grotesque figure with a lion's mane, a lion's ears, a human body, and the legs and tail of a lion or other animals. He was often depicted wearing a feathered headdress and brandishing a knife or sword, symbolizing his role as a protector against evil spirits and malevolent forces. Bess was worshipped in households as a guardian deity, particularly during childbirth and infancy, believed to ward off demons and ensure the well-being of mothers and children. He was also associated with joy, celebration, and fertility rites, celebrated in festivals and ceremonies throughout Egypt. Kebesenuef, Kebesenuef. Kebesenuef was one of the four sons of Horus, the gods who guarded the internal organs of the deceased during the mummification process and guided their souls in the afterlife. He was depicted as a mummified falcon-headed deity responsible for protecting the intestines of the deceased. Kebesenuef was associated with the cardinal direction of the West and the element of Earth. He was believed to assist the soul on its journey through the underworld, ensuring its safe passage to the realm of the afterlife. Seishat Seishat was the goddess of writing, wisdom and knowledge. Depicted as a woman wearing a leopard skin dress and a headdress adorned with a seven-pointed star, she was often shown holding a palette and a brush, symbolizing her role as the patroness of scribes and record keepers. Seishat was believed to record the names and deeds of the deceased in the afterlife, ensuring their eternal legacy and remembrance. She was also associated with architecture, mathematics, and astronomy, worshipped as a divine guide and protector of intellectual pursuits. Kanum. Kanum was a creator deity associated with the Nile River, pottery and fertility, depicted as a ram-headed man or as a ram. He was believed to shape human bodies from clay on his potter's wheel and breathe life into them, symbolizing the creative power of divine craftsmanship. Kanum was worshipped as the guardian of the Nile's inundation, believed to control its flow and ensure its fertility. He was also associated with rebirth and regeneration, particularly in the context of the afterlife, where he was believed to assist the deceased in their journey to the realm of the gods. Bai Ura The Bai Ura, also known as the Eater of Souls, was a terrifying creature depicted as a monstrous serpent with multiple heads and razor-sharp teeth. It was believed to dwell in the darkest depths of the underworld, where it awaited the souls of the unworthy dead. The Bai Ura would devour the souls of those who had committed grave sins or failed to uphold Mahat, condemning them to eternal damnation. It served as a powerful symbol of the consequences of moral wrongdoing and the importance of living a righteous life. Nekbet. Nekbet was a protective goddess associated with childbirth, maternity, and guardianship, depicted as a vulture or as a woman with the head of a vulture. She was often portrayed wearing the white crown of Upper Egypt, symbolizing her role as a protector of the pharaoh and the kingdom. Nekbet was believed to watch over the ruler and ensure their safety and well-being. She was also associated with fertility and regeneration, worshipped as a symbol of maternal care and divine protection. Baka. Baka was a mythical creature associated with fertility, agriculture, and the natural world, depicted as a hybrid creature with the body of a leon and the head of a human or animal. Baka was believed to roam the fields and forests, bringing abundance and prosperity to the land. It was also associated with the cycles of the seasons and the renewal of life, worshipped as a guardian of the harvest and a symbol of agricultural bounty. Serket, Selket. Serket was a protective goddess associated with healing, medicine and scorpions, depicted as a woman with the head of a scorpion 
or as a scorpion. She was believed to protect against venomous bites and stings, as well as to assist in childbirth and ward off evil spirits. Serket was also associated with the afterlife, where she played a role in guiding the souls of the deceased through the dangers of the underworld. She was worshipped as a benevolent deity and a symbol of protection and healing. Hapi Hapi was a fertility deity associated with the annual inundation of the Nile River, depicted as a man with a large belly and female breasts, symbolizing the abundance of the river's waters. He was believed to control the floods and ensure the fertility of the land, bringing life-giving waters to the fields and nourishing the crops. Happy was worshipped as a benevolent deity and a symbol of prosperity and abundance, celebrated in festivals and ceremonies throughout Egypt. Akka Akka was a protective deity associated with the earth and the horizon, depicted as a lion-headed deity with a dual-headed or double-bodied form, symbolizing the eastern and western horizons. Akka was believed to guard the entrance to the underworld, ensuring the safe passage of the sun, god Ra, during his nightly journey. He was also associated with the cyclical nature of time and the eternal renewal of life, worshipped as a guardian of the cosmic order and a symbol of stability and protection. Mayahes. Mayahes was a lion-headed deity associated with war, protection, and the fierce heat of the sun, depicted as a lion or as a lion-headed man wielding a knife or sword. He was believed to protect against enemies and evil spirits, as well as to bring victory and success in battle. Mayahes was worshipped as a fierce and powerful deity, revered by soldiers and warriors for his strength and courage. Ama. Ama was a protective deity associated with the afterlife and the journey of the soul, depicted as a celestial cow or as a cow-headed woman. She was believed to guide the souls of the deceased through the dangers of the underworld, ensuring their safe passage to the realm of the afterleaf. Ama was also associated with Rebirth and Regeneration, symbolizing the eternal cycle of life, Deeth, and renewal. She was worshipped as a benevolent guardian of the deceased and a symbol of divine protection and guidance. Konsu Konsu was the god of the moon, time and healing, depicted as a youthful figure wearing the lunar disk and crescent moon on his head. He was associated with the cycles of the moon and the passage of time, believed to regulate the lunar phases and influence the fertility of the land. Konsu was also revered as a healer and a protector of travelers, worshipped in temples dedicated to his cult across Egypt. Satis Satis was a goddess associated with the Nile River, fertility and archery, depicted as a woman wearing the crown of Upper Egypt and holding a bow and arrows. She was believed to control the annual inundation of the Nile and ensure the fertility of the land, bringing prosperity to the kingdom. Satis was also associated with hunting and warfare, worshipped as a protector of the pharaoh and a symbol of strength and resilience. Reshef Reshef was a deity associated with war, plague and pestilence, depicted as a warrior wielding a bow and arrows or a staff. He was believed to bring both victory and destruction on the battlefield, capable of spreading disease and death among his enemies. Reshef was worshipped as a powerful and enigmatic deity, feared and revered for his unpredictable nature and his ability to bring both blessings and calamities. Menhit Menhit was a lion-headed goddess associated with war, protection and fertility, depicted as a lioness or as a woman with the head of a lioness. She was believed to protect against enemies and evil spirits, as well as to ensure the fertility of the land and the success of military campaigns. Menhit was worshipped as a fierce and powerful deity, revered by soldiers and warriors for her strength and courage on the battlefield. Nehebkau, 
Nehebkau was a serpent deity associated with protection, healing, and the afterlife, depicted as a snake with human arms and legs. He was believed to guard the entrance to the underworld and assist the deceased in their journey through the dangers of the afterlife. Nehebkau was also associated with healing and regeneration, worshipped as a benevolent deity and a symbol of divine protection and guidance. Bast, Bast, also known as Bastet, was a goddess associated with home, fertility, and domesticity, depicted as a lioness or as a woman with the head of a lioness. She was believed to protect households and ensure the well-being of families, as well as to bring fertility and abundance to the land. Bast was also associated with music, dance, and joy, celebrated in festivals and ceremonies throughout Egypt. Neith. Neith was a goddess associated with war, hunting, and weaving, depicted as a woman wearing the red crown of Lower Egypt and holding a bow and arrows or a weaving shuttle. She was believed to protect against enemies and evil spirits, as well as to bring prosperity and abundance to the land. Nith was also associated with creation and fertility, worshipped as a powerful and multifaceted deity, revered by both royalty and common people. Tefnut Tefnut was a goddess associated with moisture, rain and fertility, depicted as a lioness or as a woman with the head of a lioness. She was believed to bring rain and nourishment to the land, ensuring the fertility of the soil and the success of agricultural endeavors. Tefnut was also associated with creation and regeneration, worshipped as a benevolent deity and a symbol of divine providence and abundance. Mahaf, Mahafet. Mahaf was a mythical creature depicted as a giant serpent or serpent-headed figure often associated with the waters of the Nile River. He was believed to inhabit the depths of the river and was associated with fertility and abundance. Mahaf was worshipped as a protective deity, believed to bring blessings and prosperity to the land. He symbolized the life-giving waters of the Nile and the vital role of the river in sustaining Egyptian civilization. Seshen Seshen was a mythical creature depicted as a serpent or serpent-headed figure, often associated with the sun god Ra and the concept of rebirth and regeneration. She was believed to assist in the process of mummification and the journey of the deceased through the underworld. Seshen was worshipped as a protective deity and a symbol of transformation, guiding the souls of the deceased on their journey to the afterlife. She represented the eternal cycle of life, death, and renewal, symbolized by the shedding of the serpent's skin. Ancient Egyptian mythology is a testament to the rich and complex religious beliefs of one of the world's oldest civilizations. The gods, goddesses, and mythical creatures of ancient Egypt played vital roles in shaping the cultural, religious, and social fabric of Egyptian society, influencing everything from art and architecture to politics and governance. Through their stories and characteristics, these enigmatic beings provided the ancient Egyptians with a sense of identity, purpose, and meaning in a vast and mysterious universe. Whether as benevolent protectors or fearsome adversaries, the deities and mythical creatures of ancient Egyptian mythology continue to captivate and inspire people around the world, reminding us of the enduring power of human imagination and the quest for understanding the divine. Thank you for watching. See you soon.